I went to the scrap heap again recently and every time that I had went there, or every time that I had gone there, I mean, I always saw this really nice television. This one. But I never actually got it because the people at the scrap heap never wanted to sell it to me since they didn't have a power supply for it and they didn't know if it worked or not. And I'm sure you can probably see this wire here. But anyways, um, then I went there with my parents, which normally I wouldn't. But they really wanted to go because I had told them how uh, nice the place was, you know, what they have and everything. And they decided to sell it then for some odd reason. And I actually didn't have a power supply in the first place, but, well, we made a power supply for it out of a 12 volt something for a modem, power supply for a modem. But then that one was center point positive, whereas this it needs the center point negative connection. So all that you have to do is switch around the wires. It wasn't that difficult. My father did that for me. But anyways, uh, I hope it should be on right now. I don't know what I, oh yeah, there. So there is the actual television screen turned on and I can change the brightness. And the contrast. So that's the actual television screen itself. But the cool thing about this particular television, unlike the last mini television that I showed is um, I'm not so sure if this will work with the way how the power supply is connected, but yeah, exactly as I thought. On the side, you may notice that there is an extra dial there. That's actually for a radio that's built into it. So I don't know what the volume is at right now. I'll just turn up the volume a little bit. It's still a little bit quiet. So yes, it has AM and FM in this radio that's also built into the television, which is really cool. And you can switch between the television and the radio with this switch, and AM and FM with that switch. There's vertical adjustment. And also this thing, which I'm not actually sure what it does, but I believe since it takes batteries, you might be able to recharge chargeable batteries. But I'm not entirely sure. Anyways. Speaking of those batteries, I shall take out the power supply now. Since it's just kind of a difficulty, really. Speaking of those batteries, um, oh my god. This thing isn't all easy to open. Uh, I'm struggling. I hope I can get it open because I would like to show what mistake I made. There we go. I'll close the stand for now. So this thing takes nine D-cell batteries, which is quite a lot. But the thing is, I didn't know that it took D-cell batteries. So I accidentally got C 
C-cell batteries, which is kind of a nuisance, really. But at least now I have a power supply for it, so that doesn't really matter. I'll just close it back again. While I have it here like this, oh god. I used to stick these down, but I suppose I should start doing it again while I have it here like this anyway. I can show the top. It has a connection for a headphone and a connection for an external antenna. And also the bottom. <coughs> And now would probably be the time to mention that, oh, I should put this thing in a little bit closer. I know nothing about this television whatsoever, actually. I, it's the model number. Well, I think that's the model number, I'm not sure. I know nothing about this television. It doesn't say where it was made. It doesn't actually say when it was made. And there's nothing on the inside of it that would let me know, since I did open it to clean it and everything, see if anything was wrong. But there is nothing, I mean, like, there's some Asian text, so I know it would be made in Asia, but it doesn't look like any Asian text that I recognise, so... I have no idea where it could have been made. Like, it doesn't even say on this sticker, made in China or whatever, it doesn't say that. And I have no idea what year it's from, but I'm going to guess the 80s, since, well... It looks very 80s to me, at least. Oh, I should probably put back the stand. And I should also plug this back in. So, um, if you know anything about this television, oh, I should also mention, it has VHF and UHF selector there. Not that it's very useful in this country, at least. I wish it was, but anyways, if you know anything about this, please do comment it, because I really, really do not know anything about it. I mean, I've typed in everything that's written on it, and there's only one thing that I've found, which is this Mexican eBay listing of a television that looks really similar, but isn't even the same one, but for some reason is branded the same and has the same model number. But it is a completely different television, the buttons are different, the dials are different, everything about it is different, but it is the same thing, you know, it's a CRT with a radio on it. Anyways, this video has gone on for way too long, and I have something else really cool to show that I got from the Scrappy Place. So I should probably end it here. Oh, I should also mention, the people on my Discord server have asked me to advertise it because they really like it, so... Um, I have a Discord server, it's just called Otters Vintage All Sorts, just like my YouTube channel. Um, you can find it on Discord, and I'm probably going to comment a link in the description to either the Dis Discord page or just the invite. So if you feel like joining, it's just like a server where we share our old stuff, really. It doesn't matter what it is, just as long as it's not new. So that's all for this video.